Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You've been asking for it and finally, I am doing a Q&A. I posted on my Instagram stories and asked you to send me your questions and boy, were they many, many, many questions. I went through the question and today I will be answering not all because there's so many but some of it. And the first question is what is my must-have skincare product? The must-have skincare for me is the Dior Prestige Lay Micro Caviar de Rose. Why? It's because I love roses. I use this as an overnight mask. It's like I have a handful of rose petals on my face every time I use it. And the next morning, I have the most hydrated, supple, and radiant skin. What is my favorite essential oil? I love roses, so I guess rose is one of my top favorites. But other than rose, Another of my top favourite will be the orange blossom, which is called Neroli. I also love the smell of lavender, so I have this bedtime mix that I use some peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus, and lemongrass. And I just put a few drops of that, mix it together, and inhale it before bedtime. It really relaxes me and puts me to sleep like a baby. What is the most expensive item in my closet? The most expensive item in my closet is a $300,000 Himalayan Nilotikas Crocodile Birkin encrusted with diamonds. Which is my favourite piece of jewellery? This is my favourite piece of jewellery. It is a nine diamond necklace which I first saw on Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City when her boyfriend, Alexander Petrosky, presented her with it. I was immediately obsessed with it and I knew at that moment that I had to have it. Can I do a gardening tour? But of course, I will do a gardening tour real soon. So stay tuned for that. Favourite holiday destination? My favourite question. There are so many holiday destinations that are my favourite, but I must say my most favourite has got to be Paris, of course. Hi everyone, I am now in Paris, favourite city in the world. We are on our way to Paris, to my favourite city again. Paris. Why Paris? Because Paris is the most romantic city in the world and every time I'm back in Paris, it always makes me feel really, really good. I enjoy the food, I love the people, the historical buildings and there is just so many beautiful places in Paris I have yet to visit. I would always go back to the Eiffel Tower because I promised myself that every time I'm in Paris, I'm going to find a different location to shoot an Eiffel Tower picture. How do I handle the stress from constant travel? I love traveling, so it's not at all stressful for me. But maybe the only thing that stresses me out is when I'm picking out my outfits for each destination. I always do my homework prior to that, the places that I am going to be visiting. So I do my research and then I try to match my outfit with the place. What is the most beautiful place that I have been to? There are too many beautiful places that I've been to actually. But right at the top of my head, I am going to go with the Maldives. We are going to the Maldives. I'm really hungry. I am too. With the blue of the ocean and the blue of the skies, 
there is nothing quite like the Maldives. Where do you want to travel next and have not gone already? I've been telling myself that I should try to visit somewhere different every year and this year I was very happy that I got to go to India. That was a real eye-opener. And we were actually planned to go back to see the cherry blossoms in Japan, the Sakura, in April, but because of the virus, we had to cancel our trip. And we actually planned to go to Turkey, Cappadocia, a place that I've always wanted to go because I want that hot air balloon picture. But sadly, I think all our plans have to be shelved for now. Aww. But Cappadocia would be one of the destinations that I really would like to visit. How did my first date with Terence happen? Mm-hmm. So a friend of ours wanted to introduce us and so she arranged for us to meet and then he started chatting me up. So there was this event that I was going to go to so I asked if he would like to accompany me to the event and of course he said yes immediately. And on that day of the event, his car was in servicing. So I had to go pick him up instead. Oh no! And you guys know how much I hate driving and how bad I am at parking. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Skills, man! Stop beeping! So instead of me driving, when I picked him up, I said, please, would you drive me? <laughs> Can you share with us your motivation in life? Honestly, money is my biggest motivation in life. I was born to a less than average family, so when I was young, I had to work very, very hard, even after school. At 15 years old, I actually borrowed some money from my parents so that I could go for a basic and professional modeling class. And after I graduated from the classes, I actually go for auditions and work after school every day. I remember that I was doing uh, catwalk shows every day after school. So in the morning, I go to school and I get off school at about 1 p.m. and then I will go and put on my makeup and I had all my clothes in my school bag and I would change and I would do a um, catwalk modeling show. And after that, I will go back home, do my homework, study a little bit, go to bed and the next day it's like I repeat the whole thing again so I do that every day ever since I was 15 years old so money really motivates me that even now I have two kids and I really would like to enjoy my life but if I have a shoot at noon you can be sure that I will be up at 8 a.m to start preparing for it. What are you most proud of for both of your children? All right, for Callista, she's just like me. Don't be fooled by her sweet persona. She can actually be quite fierce. She's also really smart and so pretty. <laughs> Mommy loves you. And for Cleveland, he has a really, really kind heart. He's a man of few words and a real mummy's boy. He consults me before he does anything and even now. Have you eaten at a hawker centre before? But of course, I am Singaporean. I love hawker food actually. But these days, it's a little bit hot for me. So to get my hawker fix, I will either get my driver or Terence to tap out for me or I order delivery. So I'm going to launch a new segment in the next two weeks that is for me to be reviewing food. So if you are reading this and you are running a hawker store or an f and outlet, you can drop my team a note and we can see how we can help you create awareness for your business especially during this COVID period. How old were you when you bought your first designer piece and what was it? 
I was 17 years old and I've been working for about a year as a flight attendant in Singapore Airlines. So every month I will put aside some money and save up for uh, my first designer item. I wasn't very much into designer item. I'm just um, originally quite a simple girl at heart and I still am, you know. Every day, I thank God that I am able to appreciate the finer things in life as well as the simple things in life. And you guys should try to be like that. It's all about balance. Okay, back to my first designer item. So finally, I had saved up enough money to pay $1,850 for a classic Chanel handbag. It is a classic 2.55 Chanel in the mini size and it is square. I mean, I don't have the handbag anymore. I should have really kept it. A little sad story about that handbag. You know, it was so precious to me because I never actually even owned anything designer. One day, I was eating ice kacang. So when the waiter was serving the ice kacang, he actually poured the whole ice kacang over my precious handbag and I cried. And every time I think about that, it still breaks my heart. What is my favorite fashion trend? I don't particularly follow fashion blindly. Like for example, if they say that bell bottoms are all the rage at the moment, any bell bottoms really don't suit me, I won't be wearing the bell bottom. So for me, it's about the comfort and what really flatters me. I mean, a trend to me is always ever evolving. I may feel that I like this style previously, but I'm not gonna just stick to it. So it is um, always evolving and it really, really depends on my mood of the day. There are many styles that I adopt on different days and today I decided to be a Powerpuff Girl. On a zombie apocalypse, what would be the three things I would bring? Mm, of course, my phone so that I could call for help. My driver so that I don't have to drive. <laughs> and of course, my $300,000 Himalayan crop bag in case you need to get some money <laughs> at least I can sell it <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve has got to be rude lazy and ungrateful people and honestly I have met many of them in my lifetime you live and you learn. What would you tell your 21-year-old self? Hmm. I would tell the 21-year-old Jamie, Dear Jamie, thank you for working very hard and thank you for taking life very seriously. Life goes on, whatever mistakes you have made, life goes on to take life seriously but maybe not too seriously at times. Always smile, no matter what you are going through because a smile is your very best weapon. And when you smile, the world smiles with you. What inspired me to collect Hermes bags? I appreciated the Hermes bag because it is by far the most user-friendly bag that I have used. I've used many fashion bags and you know, fashion really, they come and they go. So last season Prada is going to be a no-no to the woman who is a fashion police. Not me, but you know. So I was using a Prada bag when I was kind of like 30, early 30s I think. So I bumped into the daughter of a neighbor. She was probably just around 11 years old. And guess what she said to Auntie Jamie? She said, Oh, hi Auntie Jamie. That was last season's Prada. 
I was like, oh my god, whose daughter is that? It's crazy. Like guys, never teach your children to be judgmental, criticize, whatever. But I just think that her parents could have taught her better. And so, I called her the fashion police woman after that. But anyways, I appreciate Hermes for another reason that they actually maintain their investment value. One of the bags that I have have actually increased its value by um, 150 times. Let me check. Before. Wow, my math is so bad. I'm going to calculate, okay? Many unbearable hours later. So there are handbags in my collection and some of them have actually risen in value 10 to 15 times. And that makes me happy as a collector, not that I would like make money out of them. But it is always nice to know that you have a collection of something that could possibly be passed down to your daughter, your granddaughter, and something that is of value. To me, the like maybe a piece of art. And a piece of art that can actually be your fashion accessory. Okay guys, that's all the questions that I'll be answering today. Do leave me your comments on what videos you'll like to see on my channel. And keep healthy, stay chill, stay home, and don't forget to keep the positive vibes up. Good vibes only. Pick some from the floor. Good vibes only. <laughs> it was given to her by Alexander Petrosky. Her boyfriend, Alexander Petrovsky. 10 times, not 150 times. I think I'll better delete this part. <laughs>